is the plaintiff, Maureen Boutros. She says she took lessons at the defendant's driving school so she could get a commercial license to drive a school bus. The instructor was completely inept in teaching her properly. She failed a road test, wasted her $1,190, and is suing for just that today. This is the defendant, Alex Caton. He says he's been in business since 1991, training people to drive buses. And unfortunately, the plaintiff failed a road test. Sometimes people get nervous during the test. This was clearly the case with the plaintiff. After she failed, she wanted free lessons, but he's sorry, he runs a business, and he has to pay for the instructors. To be nice, he offered her a discount. The plaintiff's a stubborn lady, and he's not returning her money, period. He's accused of terrible training. All parties, please use your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff took driving lessons from the defendant to get a commercial driver's license to drive a bus and flunked. But the defendant says it's on the plaintiff that she flunked. It's the case of the wheels and the bus don't go round and round. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, in. Okay, Maureen Boutros. You yes. are suing CDL Auto Club, uh, incorporated represented here by the owner, Alex Caton? Yes. Okay. Um, Ms. Boutros, you were, you went to see them because they give lessons on what? On driving a? A uh, uh, school bus. Okay, so you were trying to get, what does CDL stand for? Commercial uh, driver's this is license. commercial driver's license. Okay, so you were trying to get a commercial driver's license to enable you to be in a position to drive a school bus. A, a for a B class. I have my C class. Okay. I just wanted to upgrade. Right. Which so, would allow you to drive a bigger bus? That's right. Okay. So you hire them and how much do you pay them for the lessons? I paid $700. Okay. And then $300 to be able to use their school bus during your lessons and during your exam. Yes. For a total of $1,028. Correct? Yes. yes. Okay. So you take the lessons and what was the problem do you think? I know you ended up failing, but what was the problem with the lessons? I kept on calling. Um, he has a representative, like not a representative, but someone who answers the phones and gives out the classes. Okay. And I spoke to Alina, that's her name. I spoke to her and I explained to her that the driver, he's the instructor, he's not really teaching me right. She says, okay, I'm going to speak to him. I called her multiple what times. What made you feel that, though? The first time, um, how he explained everything, he went so fast. And I explained to him, can you go slow? I don't really understand what you're saying. So he says, oh, da, da, da. like, I, I just didn't understand him. So that's did you under not understand an accent, or did you not understand no, the concepts? No, how, how he, like, taught me. Like, he was just going around in circles, like, he told me how a dipstick was on the right-hand side, and technically it wasn't on the right-hand side, it was on the left-hand side. He was talking about an oil di uh, dipstick. And I don't know, I'm a female, you understand? Okay. So Being that's a female, whatever, wh whatever gender you are has nothing to do with whether you know a bus, but go no, on. No, but like, you know, underneath the hood. Yeah, I really underneath the hood, that's the, uh, <laughs> yeah. That is not like, you know, penile territory. That has nothing to do with being a man. Go ahead, but go on. Okay, so afterwards, he told me on one side that a dipstick was, and it wasn't on that side. So afterwards, he was just confusing me. So that's when I called Alina, and I told Alina, I said, Alina, he's not teaching me right. She says, okay, I'm going to give you an extra lesson. So afterwards, the next week, he come, he, he went, like, you know, he was teaching me. He gave me a booklet. And um, first, the, the booklet that the company gives, it's not, um, it doesn't explain how an engine's supposed to be. So the, the guy, Igor, he went to his car and he got me another book. And he told me, he says, this book is going to teach you the whole engine. He says, don't worry about the first book that they gave to me, and it, it was for trucks. So afterwards, I said, but Igo, this is for trucks. He says, just study it. Everything how a truck is from the inside of the engine is just as how a bus is. And that's exactly what I did. So instead of going back to him on Sunday, I called Alina. I studied the whole book of what he gave to me, and I have the book. Like okay, he gave and me 
What was the problem? So I'm going, like me and him, we were bumping heads. And I kept on telling Alina to give me a new um, instructor. How many instructors do you have? I have three instructors. Why didn't Alina just give her a new instructor? She was having so much difficulty. Uh, we're trying to accommodate as much as we can. We're, but giving her, giving her a new instructor would be accommodating uh, her. That wouldn't cost you anything. You just switch instructors. Yes, as I switch, maybe the other instructor can better explanation. Right. So did Finally, you switch? Yes, we switch. When, she how him. many lessons did you have with another instructor? No. No, Alina told me that they're in Russia, that there's no instructor. Other instructor. Yeah. We never say anything like that. <laughs> well, was anybody in Russia? No, nobody in Russia. Everybody's here. Maybe Alina was just trying to... Uh, first of all, she Why never... didn't you get involved? Did Alina bring the problem to you? Who's Alina? Alina is my secretary. Is she here? No, she's Well, not then here. you're the only guy I can ask questions of. If okay. a customer calls and says, I can't learn from this guy, um, I need a different instructor, and you're saying, yeah, we'll give her a different instructor. Why didn't you just give her a different instructor? She says that no, she didn't get a different instructor. No, I did. I did. We did have. Uh, we, we gave her a different instructor. Who did you give her? Uh, uh, the other instructor. What's the name of the instructor? They both named the Eagles, so it's confusing. You know, they have the same. Yeah, names. but she she has eyeballs though, so she can see if it's the same instructor. And she said she likes him, and everything. Did was that right. happen? Did you get a switch in instructors? No, that was the list. That was two hours before my lesson. Okay, so that was how many lessons before your your four. test? It was four. It I'm was four lessons. How many lessons did you pay for? Five. Okay, so they gave you, in lesson four, they gave you a new Igor? Five. F in lesson five. So five. the very last lesson, does that sound right? Yes, it is. Okay, so the very last lesson, they gave you a new, a new person with the same name. And then what happened? Um, he kept on telling me, oh, no, everything how Igor showed me, I explained it to the guy, the, the other instructor. And afterwards, he was like, no. No, that's wrong. No, that's wrong. So I'm saying... Well, that's my... if you got what Igor said to you right. Yeah, that's well, right. What, what if maybe you just didn't learn what he said right? What if he said it right, but you're, you're getting it wrong? Yeah. Right. I mean, how do, how do we judge that? Are you taking... You go to the test, you fail the test. I, but the whole thing was the instructor, only 15 minutes before I, I was going to take the road test, and I asked him, I said, how did I do? He looked at me and he was like, if I was from the DMV, the DMV instructor, you failed. And then afterwards in my mind, I'm saying to myself, like, what are you talking about? I'm, I'm, I'm going to fail? So afterwards he was like, yeah, just be confident. He was like, you know, if you, even if you have a couple of extra dollars like this, he was like, if you have a couple of extra dollars, he was like, give it to the DMV. And then afterwards the Bribe instructor. The guy? Yeah. So afterwards I was just looking at him. What? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, no. Okay, the plaintiff is saying women just don't understand mechanics as well as men for cars. What do you say? Depends on the woman. I'd, I'd say no. Okay, you'd say no. Um, I think women are just as good as men, like, and can understand anything they're capable of understanding. What do you say? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that there are women out there that have that skill, like, by the way, I'm not saying it, so don't get mad at me. Sure. I mean, you're looking at me like you're glaring. I'm, saying, like, I'm just saying. Okay, okay, okay. Going inside the courtroom. I'm running a driving school from 1991. We have thousands of people pass and also fail road tests. It's normal. But trying to make bus driver for five hours, it's not really easy. You know, I recommend to take more lessons, but maybe lack of money. So why was she only taking five? Because they get to pick how many lessons they take? That's how, no, how much money she can pay okay. to me. And right. I'm trying to make miracle. It's not I... happened. Sometimes sometime it happens. But we try to do everything possible to accommodate. If you don't like this okay. instructor, we now, give you the Now, are other. you taking lessons now? Yes. And how's that going? It's going great. OK, have you taken the test? Um, taking it. Okay, how many lessons are you gonna take now before you take the test? I'm taking like one every week. So you plan to take quite a few lessons more than what you scheduled with them? Yeah. To be able to pass? Yeah. Okay. Um, and I don't have the person who taught her here. You did not bring that person, right? Mm. How long has that person worked for you? She worked about seven years for me. Does he still work for you? Yes, he, he does. Does he ever get complaints? Mm, not really. He's a very good instructor, and a lot of people like him. Like, I don't have any problem with him, but some people pay attention on the lesson, some not. Some people fail, some pass. Nothing, 
not some extraordinary happen. Right. I mean, okay, so at some point she calls after she fails and she asks for what, according to you? I said to her that I can give her uh, discounted prices so she continued to learn and she was agree with me and then she decided that she wants it for free I cannot run business if I don't charge people you know it's impossible what discount were you offering her? Uh, the lesson cost eighty dollars I offer her sixty okay which is fair you know okay and she said mm, after a while she called me and she said no I want it for free I said it's impossible I have to cover my expenses but she said no Excuse me? Yeah, how, how um, Ms. Butchers, how are you going to prove, you know, I mean, people pa some people pass, some people fail, and uh, so how, other than you Can I coming just, in oh. and telling me, he didn't teach me right, other than that, how are you gonna prove that you're entitled to money back? Okay, verbally, he told me, when I first got, when I got out of um, the t testing site, and I told him about the three hundred dollars. I said, "What about the bus?" I said, "I just I went on. I just went inside the bus for less than five minutes, and I failed." And then afterwards, he was like, "You know what? I'm gonna give you lessons. The bus is on on the house, and I'm going to fire Igor." Did you say that stuff? No, I did not. None of it. Yeah. I said here that I'm gonna give her a substantial discount, but. And I talked to the instructor. Did you tell her you were going to fire the guy? No, I did not. Okay. Um, you know, I, I feel for you because um, I, I really do think that there might have been a disconnect between you and your teacher. But without any further evidence that there's an actual problem with the teacher, um, I mean, have you looked at any reviews online? Do you, have, do you know any other people who took that if, teacher and are testifying here today? Uh, you if know. you look on Yelp. Yelp, when I failed, I looked on their website, and everything that on Yelp, 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 it, they had horrible views, and I didn't look at that before, Every, that they just take the money and they don't offer anything, and like, yeah. Right, hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah. I, you know, this is a very difficult case to prove. Very difficult. Um, but based on what's in front of me, I can't really order rebates of your money. Uh, um, I just can't. I still have to have some proof from you, because you have the burden of proof when you come into court, some proof for you from you that you didn't get what you paid for, and just the fact that you failed isn't enough, and just the fact that you're complaining isn't enough. So my verdict in this case is for the defendant. Teachers don't guarantee success that you'll pass a test. They just promise that they'll do a good job. And that will do it for this case, litigants, for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.